This is by far one of the most enjoyable customs that I've ever made. It was the first time that I actually started to dabble in creating customs that have major splice detail, cut, reshape, change this, change that, change, you know, if one and everything. So I love Superior Venom. Superior Venom is one of those characters that just appeared and then disappeared just like that. Parts of the Superior Spider-Man mythos, man, that's that comic book is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. That is an absolute awesome read. I love the take on Doc Ock entering the mind of Peter Parker, seemingly dead and then not dead, and then takes over his mind and all this sort of jazz. So really cool, really cool idea, creative on Marvel's behalf, that's for sure. With the custom, it was definitely inspired by Craig Warwick's original design. There's no dispute in that. You can see the influences there clear as day. His design was fantastic, so I pretty much ripped it off. Other than the head sculpt, I felt like Hasbro's head was pretty damn accurate. The backpack was black stuff, and it was created originally from absolutely nothing. I created the peg, which was the original peg for the Scorpion Venom, and I added wires to it, and I allowed the clipping mechanism via a mesh that then sewed all the articulation, like the legs, so it could come on and off. That was honestly mega difficult, but it just worked. I didn't expect it to, but it did. And it was really hardy. Now this design is definitely showing its age. You can see the sculpt detail is definitely not up to par. It's one of my older customs for sure. You can see there's fingerprints in the sculpt work. There's not blended down smooth areas. There's crispy bits here and there. The paint job is pretty nice. I will admit that I ended up using Monomaster's white, but then I added silver to it and it gave it like this crystal look. It, it looks really nice. It's really pretty. The final result on that, I went in and added the black so I made everything nice and sharp. Yeah, the lines, they were silver again, inspired by Craig Warwick's design. One thing I wish it had done, now that I can reflect back on it, I know for sure that this design doesn't hold up. When I created it, I didn't realize that the spider legs from the Shelob are absolutely gone. They are terrible. But for the time, that's all we had. Unless you're going to manufacture your own joints. And, you know, if you put it in the modern era, if you manufacture your own joints, what the hell are you going to use? The McFarlane spider? I hear that those are not durable. I hear that those will not hold the figure. This figure was quite heavy. It was a splice between Bucky Cat, Pizza Spider Mold, McGargan Venom, Pile Driver. Gosh, there's, there's so many parts. It was all just kind of smashed all together and Bob's your uncle, there you go. The articulation on it is limited. It's definitely showing its age. There was bracket work that I had to get into the torso, crack it apart, re-engineer and reshape it because it just didn't click together properly. Nothing functioned. These are older parts. This is true customizing at its finest. You don't see this stuff anymore because everything can just be kit bashed together and you don't need to splice this. You don't need to do that because everything just kind of works, you know, so. Yeah, that's Superior Spider-Man. Blast from the past. Hope you enjoy these blasts from the past, by the way. They're fun to do. All I'm doing is kind of reworking them into a modern style. If you enjoyed this video and like the content that I've been creating lately, smash that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.